What's going on everyone? This is Eric Hetz for the win. My blue microphone is out of commission. I don't know what's wrong with it. It will not turn on anymore, so I, I think I need a new one. So I apologize if the audio in this video is a little different. Um, it doesn't sound as clear. I have to use my Turtle Beach headset to record this video. Um, but anyways, let's talk about Bloodborne, the old Hunter's DLC. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of content out there from the people I follow. I'm wondering, did they get it? Are they playing it? Are they struggling so they don't want to show what they're doing? I, I mean, I understand <laughs> because this DLC is a struggle. It's really, really tough. It's brutal at times. Um, I'm on New Game Plus Plus, so I know that plays an effect into all of this. Um, I was reading some comments and stuff like on Reddit and YouTube. Um, some people are thinking this is way harder than the, the main game, which I agree with. I think it's way harder. Um, it makes the main game look like light work, pretty much. Um, there were bosses in the main game that I thought were hard, and now they just seem like a piece of cake. I remember thinking, oh, seven times to beat a boss, that's 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 okay. Um, it's, that's kind of a lot. Now, seven times would be really nice, <laughs> especially with Ludwig. Um, I think that's how you say it, or Ludwig. He has definitely been the hardest boss I've faced in Bloodborne, and that's saying a lot because I thought Ibridis was tough. She kicked my butt for a couple days, um, and I still am so proud of beating her, but um, Ludwig, if that's how you say it, he is just on a whole other level. I think what makes him so tough is that he's so relentless. He just keeps coming at you, and it's really hard to stay behind him, especially if you play solo. He's just coming at you constantly. So it's really hard to find time if there is any to, you know, use your blood vials to take a breather. There's really no breather. He's just constantly going. And um, although his moves are predictable, he's constantly switching it up. So it's just even harder. <laughs> and um, yeah, so the bosses so far, I've just been impressed because they took it to a whole other level in this DLC. Even the regular enemies, the hunters, um, they are very difficult. I have trouble with hunters already. I usually did in the main game because I always felt like they're just mirror images of myself. They're kind of like my character, similar moves and all of that, and they're really fast. And it's just like a it's a battle. It's a true battle between them, which is always awesome, but I would have trouble sometimes. So this DLC is just putting that at another level as well. Um, and I know New Game Plus Plus definitely makes a difference. I know that for a fact. There's a part in the game I actually looked up online because um, there's these two hunters that I was thinking it wasn't necessary to fight them, but I wanted to know for sure. So I looked it up on YouTube and I saw someone playing and to get to that part, you have to go through this area where there's a guy on a wheelchair. You guys know the guys on the wheelchairs, they like to shoot at you. <laughs> well, in my game, when that particular one shot at me, it was almost like a like a missile, almost. <laughs> this huge shot that came at me, and um, it almost looked like it was kind of like with magic a little bit. That thing would take about half my health if it did catch me. Um, but the the YouTube video that I was watching, that same part, the guy who was playing, he didn't even have to deal with that. He was getting regular shots, like the ones that were in the regular game. Just a, just a simple bullet that shot at him. So I figured he's probably on just new game plus the first time, or he's on the original game and he hasn't even beat it yet because there was a clear difference in the difficulty there. So I know for sure that uh, there's some extra stuff for us if we are on new game plus or plus plus as I am. Um, and I saw that, I was kind of salty, I was like, man, my game is really hard, but then at the same time, I'm kind of proud of it because even though it is harder, I am getting through it, and it's just making me better in a way, um, but yeah, I just wanted to note that, yes, there are differences, and, and it is more difficult the more pluses you have, <laughs> so um, what else can I say? I'm really enjoying it, I'm, I'm sure you guys know that. Um, I'm a huge Bloodborne fan. I have been waiting for this DLC. I got it immediately as soon as it was available, and I've just been going hard on it since. I've been farming. I've been doing my best to, to get my weapons in check and just be the best I can be because it's very necessary in here. You're going to get worked. Let me just tell you guys that. You're going to get worked. Especially the people who did not play New Game Plus yet. 
and they cheated their endings, especially them. They got all their endings and they didn't even play New Game Plus. Um, if they start New Game Plus and they do play this DLC, they are in for a rude awakening and it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm just I'm just thinking about it like, man, I, could, I wish I could watch them play. I wish I could watch them stream it uh, or something. Um, but no one's posting anything, so, <laughs> so I don't know what's up. But um, if you do happen to have this game, you are playing it. Let me know what you think about the DLC. If you do have the DLC, I mean, if you if you're enjoying it, if you think it's hard, um, let me know because yeah, it's it's been brutal for me at times. And also, I want to know um, what's your level, what's your new game plus plus plus, like what what plus are you on, um, all that good stuff. But yeah, if you were looking for an even bigger challenge in this game, it's here. It's definitely in this DLC. It's going to test your skills. It's going to test your patience even more so. And uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. These bosses, though, these enemies, I mean, they go hard. <laughs> I actually went back to farm um, at the beginning of the game, the, the main game, and I figured, well, I'll just go beat Cleric Beast real quick and, and get some Blood Echoes. I fought that guy, and it wasn't even a fight. He, <laughs> he didn't even hit me once, I think. And uh, it felt like I was just fighting some cheap little boss or cheap little enemy in the game that doesn't mean anything. That's how much I'm, you know, used to the game being so hard is that I'm going back on these old bosses and just wiping them out with, with no problem. So if that gives you guys some kind of, you know, idea of just how hard the DLC is, it's going to make you better, way better in this game. And that's the best part about it. You guys are really going to enjoy it, I think, especially if you loved the main game. Definitely get the DLC. That's my video, you guys. I hope you liked it. It's just kind of a impressions, I guess, or just a initial thoughts on the game and the difficulty in the DLC. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.